Hello and welcome to another episode of Kids Sport. These videos are designed to help guide parents and kids on their sports journeys. Whatever sport you're playing, the ability to apply greater force, jump higher or sprint quicker will undoubtedly assist. One thing we know about sport, the better your relative performance, the more you'll enjoy it. For kids, often an overlooked element is general fitness and we'll be preparing a series of videos to assist with that in coming weeks. General fitness should never be overlooked as the ability to outwork your competitors and get to more contests and continue to execute the required skill appropriately is and always will be a massive advantage. When most parents ask me what they can do to improve their kids' sports performance, my first answer is always get them fit. In today's tutorial, we are focused on one element of that general fitness journey and that's jumping higher and sprinting faster. Anything on this channel in terms of athletic advice will be based on empirical studies and proven results. Briefly, there are numerous studies, including those documented in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine, noting the improvements in vertical jump and sprint performance of athletes after just eight weeks of jump squats. Helping me today is my eldest son, Ethan. He'll be demonstrating the respective activities as we move through them with explanations. What do you need to get started? Initially nothing, as we build a base of good technique and conditioning. So, what do, so how do we do jump squats? Firstly, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Start by doing a regular squat. Engage your core and then jump explosively. Now back into your squat position. Ah, flat feet, jump again. So what are we watching for? We're watching for mistakes. The most classic mistake is bending down and then those feet coming up. It means they're overbalancing. We want you down on your heels and then jumping as high as you can. Go again. Excellent. So my recommendation is for the first nine sessions, uh, assuming you perform three a week, is to perform this routine without weights. I'd be looking to do 10 to 12 reps with a two to three minute break between sets. In that two to three minutes, I typically have the guys do a slow jog. Uh, it ends up being a pretty exhausting uh, cardio workout at the same time. As we advance, the next range of protocols will be to select a weight. There's lots of different weights you can use, uh, a dumbbell or barbell I should say, a weights vest, but I like these type of weights that you can hang on to. Typically, what we would do is start with a weight that's about 10%, I'm sorry, about 20% of the body weight of the relevant athlete. So Ethan's around 40 kilos. He's got two five kilo uh, dumbbells or plates there. So why don't you show me, Ethan, how you would uh, do that with the, uh, the plates. So same technique, go down, no, make sure those heels are flat. Let's go, shoulder width apart. Now jump high, hard, good. Now get down, set again, nah, nah. sorry. You've got to get those heels flat. So show me the heels flat, jump high, stop, squat down, flat, heels flat, jump high, excellent. So that's the type of technique that we're wanting to see from him. And then as we progress through the next nine sessions, which will be three weeks of three per week, we will then add two potential 10 kilo plates for him, which will be around 30% of his body weight. So I hope this helps and uh, watch for the next video in our series. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, press uh, uh, like and subscribe and watch for, for more content.